Hey guys, this is John with Walkthrough Code. So in the last video, we talked about how to inject a value into a route, uh, and specifically into a, an H, uh, a handlebars view, uh, by using this object, which is a second, uh, the second argument of this res.render function, or method rather. Um, so if we, let's say we have this array here called fruits, and we wanted to iterate over that, if we wanted to loop over it and print everything out on the screen, we could just go in here and say ul unordered list and an li for a list item. The top here above the li, we would wrap this and say hashtag each. So for each is essentially what it's referring to and we'll say fruits. And then below here, we're gonna say uh, forward slash each. So now that closes that block and in here we can use the double curly brackets and this. So what this does is it basically says use each instance of this and print it out here. So if we save this and we refresh it, it, went, it just easily prints that out. Okay, so let's use, let's show the if statement. So if we, if we wanna say, um, let's go outside of this here. And we'll have a p tag and we'll say um, above this, we'll say if, or hashtag if, um, we'll say veg. If this value exists, uh, print it out, and then we'll say else. So we'll say if veg exists, uh, veg exists, else, p tag veg does not exist and then we'll say and then we'll close it by saying forward slash if now this will go ahead and close this statement um, and it's kind of like an el if else if else type of thing um, or if else what am I saying so if we save this we can refresh it and say veg does not exist however if we put veg back in there of any value, it doesn't really matter because all it's checking to see is if it exists or not. If we refresh here, if we save this and refresh, sure enough, veg exists, so now it prints that out. So that's how the if statement works. If we want to um, use an interesting one called um, the unless, we can say unless uh, veg. So it says if it's essentially the opposite of if, and if we comment this out. So notice comments for HBS are this and this for closing. Um, so let's put this in here saying veg does not exist. And then we'll close this. And we'll see forward slash unless and then we refresh, nothing's there because veg does exist. However, if we go back here and we remove this and we refresh, it tells us veg does not exist. So think about it as the opposite of an if statement. Um, that's almost all. So the last thing here is the unique uh, log. Um, so if we do log hello world, this will actually take whatever value is in here. We could probably say um, obj.name. Um, and we could save this and refresh it. And sure enough, in the console, it console.logs that for us. So it's kind of useful if we want to be able to console.log something from inside the HBS view. So uh, that's pretty much it. What we talked about today is we first talked about how to use the each statement where we use hashtag each and then whatever array and then we would access each index inside of the array including objects with this being uh, the specific index and then we could use any uh, this dot name, this dot whatever is in our object that we would be accessing should it should that thing that we are accessing be an object. We also talked about the if statement and saying hashtag if uh, some value, it would check if that value exists. We also have the ability to um, check if or say if it does not exist, uh, print something out. 
Um, we also use the hashtag on list saying um, if it's essentially the opposite of if. So if this value does not exist, print this out. And then we were able to log some value, whichever one we liked, uh, onto the console just by using log. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, totally post them in the, um, in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you want to find me on social media, go ahead and go to Twitter. My handle is John A2, J O H N A2. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.